Are you ready to go a little bit deeper today? Or if you want, I can just entertain you today and tell you some cute things. No? I'm a youth pastor. I'm good at entertaining. I live in Hollywood. I can entertain. Uh, but I feel like God wants to take you a little bit deeper. Because people who come on a Saturday night, they want to go deeper. I don't know how you got here tonight, but you're at the right place at the right time. And I promise you, those are big words. That you will live differently than the way you are right now. Three, three people want this. Three people. If you truly receive what we're about to talk about, I promise you, you will never be the same. You will never read the Bible the same. You will never see yourself the same. Pastor Mamuka is scared. What is he going to say? If I say something wrong, you can just take me off, okay? <laughs> uh, he understands. I know, but everybody else. Uh -huh. Well, today we're going to just preach the Bible, not my opinion. A lot of pastors preach a lot of opinion. And they preach their own convictions. I, wanna, I don't want to give you my opinion or my thoughts. I want to give you what the Bible says. Because these words have been around for a lot longer than I have. And these words are powerful. Mine are nothing. So I believe God is going to use my words to and they're going to be his words. I'm so excited. This is so good. Man, I'm so excited. I don't even know how to start. <laughs> um, let's start um, in Zechariah chapter 4. Chapter 4, verse 6. Yesterday, we talked about two systems. Um, we talked about the system of this world. Um, and we talked about the system of the spirit. Uh, how many were here yesterday? Awesome. And we, we talked about how God is, uh, we talked about the, number, the importance of the number eight and how it's a new beginning. You talked about the number eight. A new beginning. And how God wants us to live in the spirit, not in the world system. Then this morning with all the youth, we talked about identity, who we are. And we talked about the importance of how we view ourselves. Because if you don't know who you are, you will never do what God has called you to do. Identity is so important. She's good, yeah? You're amazing, thank you. This is, my interpreter is amazing. <laughs> and so, what everything you're called to do has to come out of understanding who you are in Christ. Walking in the Spirit 
Sulši sijaruli. You have to understand who you are in the spirit. Sulši sijaruli se ostko ne gaigo tu vinhart kojen sulši. So that's what we talked about this morning. Da je sa risi sreza čun vi sa obrat ham dilas. Pastor Mamuka talked about this afternoon. Da mam skrem si Mamuka sa obrat da dres šua dreze. And he talked about how for us as young people to begin to release the outpouring of the spirit. I sa obrat da ima za turam dina dom nišne lovan ja hal gazde bi stu isro I es sodna tu vinari ja nam iz gamon tavi supleba. And so tonight I want to continue this this theme. Amit om dres minda gavak zelo es tema. And tomorrow morning is going to be really good too. So make sure you bring everybody you know. So we have no room at all in this in this room. So people are standing against the walls. This, it's going to be good. Tonight I want to talk about life in the spirit. We hear this word in Christianity. But the truth is we don't really understand it. It, it sounds good. It sounds spiritual. But we have no idea what it looks like. I grew up in the church. And they would talk about the spirit. And I'm standing there. Maybe I'm not a Christian. Because I don't understand. And they made it so spiritual and so hard to grasp. That only the deep Christians. Only the pastors. They can walk in this amazing, amazing spirit. And for me it felt so far away. But it's actually a lot easier and more simple than you can imagine. So today I want to talk about this. So we're talking about two, two different systems. You talked? Yeah, we are talking. Zechariah chapter 4 verse 6. Then he said to me, Go ahead, say that. Ah, okay. Mo mo mi goda mitra. This is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel. Es ari suplis sitwa Zerubbabelis. Zerubbabelis. Yeah. If you say this very fast, you speak in tongues. Zang shira tu gai me orav gamuaro enebzela parako. Zerubbabelis bala bala. And here's what he said. Dage ratkwa. This is so good. Zamagaria. Not. By might, aradzalita. Not by power, da aradzliere bit. But by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. Aramet chemi sulito ambov sabao tu pali. He's talking about the release of the Spirit of God. And he's saying it's not about what you do. It's not your good works. Because might and power are the system of this world. It doesn't matter how much money you have. It doesn't matter how popular you are. It doesn't matter if you have a million followers on Instagram. It's not the power of this world. It's not the level of this world. You're not going to get the outpouring of the Spirit by this system. But only one, but only one way. By my Spirit. Whose Spirit? Whose spirit? Yes, the Holy Spirit, God's spirit. Yeah, talk to me. When you talk to me, I preach faster. <laughs> so he's talking about the spirit. Yesterday we 
talked about in Genesis chapter 1 and chapter 2 how God created man. And in Genesis chapter 2 we see that God formed the man from the dust of the ground. This word formed is the same word that we would use today to physically build. And then God blew his spirit into the man. So I'm going to need some help to preach this message today. Where's Rati? Where is he? Rati. Bring him. Where's the guy who where's the guy who plays the this? Luca. Luca. Bring Luca. Bring Dachi. 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 Who's Dachi? Well, we are confused with the hey. names. Ah. My man. Come come up here. And I, I need one more person. Right here. Right here, my man. Come up here. Hey. What's your name? Rakia. Vajo. Vajo. That's a good name. Can you, can you guys like just also. move this just like right here? Just, just careful. Gentle. Wow. Okay, good, 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 good. All right. Vajo, vajo. Stand here. Stand in the middle. Stand here. I need to show you something. So God created us three parts. Just as God is three parts. What are the three parts of God? Help me. Yes, God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Pastor Mamuka is teaching you well. Good job. So in, in, in theology, we call the triune God. Triune God or Trinity. And also, in theological, we say we are the triune man. Three parts. What are they? Spirit, uh, soul, and the body. Good job. Wow. <laughs> you get a five or an A plus, whatever, uh -huh. you, however you do it. So we see in Genesis chapter one that this is going to represent the body. Flex for me, for the body. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> it's okay, you can put it down. <laughs> So don't, don't mess with me because he's got my back. He's strong. <laughs> hey? Hey. So this is the physical when God formed the man. In the physical, we have the five senses. We have sight. Hearing. We have touching. Smelling. And my favorite. The mm, tasting. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> That's a gift of God. That is One, two, three, four. What else? What am, I, what am I missing? No, one, two, three, four, and touch. Touch five, five. five. So this is the physical. Everything that you see on the outside. This is you could you could call this the system of this world. And then the Bible says in uh, Genesis 1 7 that God breathed. This is the Spirit. This is everything of God. Now, I believe that the, uh, your spirit is dormant or not alive until you receive Jesus into our, into our life. You have the spirit, but it's not alive. And the moment... It's good? Everything's okay? The moment you invite Jesus Christ into your life, 
that his spirit comes in you and you come alive and your spirit comes alive. This is the breath of God. In fact, the Holy Spirit, one of the names is the spirit of Jesus. The same spirit Jesus had is in us. So everything of God is here. And then, we, and then we have this part. That's a good looking dude right there. <laughs> and in this part is our, our soul. Our soul is our mind. Our will, our desires. And our emotions. He's emotional, yeah? Are you emotional? Okay. I don't know. Sometimes. So this is your mind, your will, and your emotions. Three parts, but one being. And so there are, we talked yesterday about two systems. There are systems that this, this side thrives in. And there's system, and there's a system where, where um, where the spirit thrives in. But because they're one, there's a, there's a, there's a situation that happens. Now this is just an example. This is an example of the body. The body, what does the body want? Tell me, what does the body want? Eating. Yeah, eating. <laughs> Especially Georgians, they really want to eat. What else does the body want? Sleeping, what else? Swimming? Swimming? <laughs> the body wants the things of this world. Enjoying life. The body will also is from the system of this world. And in the system of this world is where sin is. The body loves sin. So when you say that, oh, um, oh, you know, I don't enjoy sin. Your body enjoys sin. Your, and if your body did not enjoy sin, you would never sin. Your body enjoys the, just the, the feeling that it gets when sin is around. The body loves, you know, like drunkenness and alcohol, uh, like, you know, all the things of this world. The body wants lust. That's what the body wants. That's normal. That's normal. That's normal. It's good that, you, that I mean, it's not good, but it's, it's, that's what your body wants, the things of this world. Because your body is from this world. Now, what's interesting, what's interesting? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. What's interesting? Okay. It's <laughs> Is because it's one being. If we if we feed the body, for instance, the body wants lust. And so the body wants the, what's over here. Come over here. So the body wants to come over here. And the Bible says to fulfill the desires of the flesh. And so if we allow the flesh to be uh, desired. We make the decision in our mind, our soul. And so the soul decides Yeah, I want that. That's good. I want lust. I want that woman. I want whatever it is. And that's our night. We won't get too graphic. <laughs> and so he makes a decision. And he says, okay, body. It's good. So what happens? The spirit is part of the person. So now the spirit is beginning to be dis, um, diminished and begins to come with the body. 
ამ დროს ჩვენი სული პატარავდება უგულველყოფილია ამიტომ აი ეს ადამიანი ანუ ერთი ნაწილი satisfies the cravings of the flesh აკმაყოფილებს თავისი ხორციელ ნებებს but the spirit has a different desire მაგრამ ჩვენ სულ ადამიანი სულ სხვა სურვილები აქვს the spirit wants the things of god სულ სულ და ღმერთის რაღაცები the spirit wants to come to 49 days of prayer for the holy spirit to pour out სულ უნდა რომ 40 დღის მანძილზე ლოცვის სახურებებზე იაროს the spirit wants to get in the word სულ უნდა რომ ღმერთი სიტყვას ჩაუღრმავდეს რო ძალიან კარგია the spirit is so hungry სული აიმდენად მშიერია and the flesh is so hungry და სხეულიც ძალიან მშიერია and the mind is what makes the decision და გონება ის რომელმაც უნდა მიიღოს გადაწყვეტილება which beast am i going to feed რომელ ეს <laughs> 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 I do what I don't want to do. I don't do what I want to do. Vaketep imas rats ar minda da ar vaketep imas rats minda. And this is battle. Da ak midis brzola. Help me God. Gmerto da mekhmare. And each one of you have a battle. Da titel tkven tagans brzola aks. If you don't have a battle it's because your spirit isn't alive. Da tu ar akhar brzola shes imas nishnas ro sheni suli ar er gamotsotskhlebuli. And he doesn't crave the things of God. Da mas ar tsquri a gmertis ragatsebi. Non Christians don't have this battle. They just do whatever they want to do. ქრისტიანებს ეს ბრძოლები არ აქვთ იმიტომ რომ აკეთებენ იმას რაც მათ სურს და ისე მათ ეს სიამოვნება იმიტომ რომ მათი სული არ არის ცოცხალი and so the mind და გონება ამ დროს everything begins to process in the mind ყველაფერის პროცესი ყველაფერის პროცესი გონებაში იწყება that's why the bible says we have to constantly renew our mind ამიტომ ბიბლია გვეუბნება რომ გამიუდმებით უნდა განვაახლო ჩვენი გონება renew makes means make new განაახლო ნიშნავს რომ შექმნა ახალი All the time we have to make our mind new. Qovel jerze chven unda chveni goneba sheknat akhlidan. And then when the when when we decide. Da is rasa chven tsqet gadatsqetileba. I want to feed my spirit. Ambob me minda rom vqebo chemi suli. All of a sudden the body comes. Da utseb sxeuli uertdeba. And now the body is being transformed. Da am dros sxeuli garda iknaba. To look like the spirit. Rom gamoiqurebdes ise rogort suli. You guys go ahead sit down. Madlobat bichebo. Three parts. Sami natsili. Now check this out. Modi ekhla shevkhedot. Go with um which one? Go with me to Colossians chapter 2. Koloselta meore tavze gadavidet. Colossians chapter 2 and we're going to go to verse 6. Uh 2:6? Yes. Colossalta meore tavit mtavis mekse mukhli. I want to explain this to you through the Bible. Sorry? I want to explain this to you through the Bible. Ah minda es biblis meshobit agikhsnat. It says therefore you have received Jesus Christ as the Lord so walk in him. Amitom rogorts miiget Kriste Ieso upali aseve iaret masshi. How many of you in here today have received Jesus Christ as your Lord? Ramdeni khart ak vins Yesu Christ e uplat miiget. So that means your spirit this side is come alive. Es imas nishnas ro tkveni suli romets aket mkhares iqo is gamotsotskhlebulia. So he says your spirit is alive. Da ambobs ro sheni suli tsotskhaliao. You've received him. Shen miige igi. So walk in him. Amito geobneba iare masshi. And it says be rooted in him. Da geobneba rom pesvebi gaidgio masshi. Like a tree. Rogorts khes gaaks pesvebi. Deep roots. Mas zalian ghrma pesvebi aks. 
That means you have a choice. Es imas nishnaus ro shen gaks archevani. You can be rooted in the flesh. Shen shegitlia sxeulshi gaushva pesuebi. Or you can be rooted in the spirit. An sheizleba pesuebi sulshi gaushva. And he says be rooted and built up in him. Da ambobs rom pes ga pes gadgmulebma da And established in faith. Da misit akhshenebulebma gamkitsebulebma smenit. Just as you were taught abounding in thanksgiving. Rogorts gisavliat da tsarmatebulebma madlierebashi. He's saying to the church in uh, Colossian church. Anu igiubneba koloselta ekklesias. Listen, you're being taught. Your pastor, other preachers are teaching you. Your small group is teaching you. When you're reading the Bible, it's teaching you. So he's saying, walk in this teaching. Don't worry, it's getting better. We're just creating a foundation for what's about to happen. Verse 8. See to it that no one takes you uh, captive by philosophy or empty deceit according to human tradition, according to elements and the spirits of this world, not according to Christ. And so he's talking about the soul. He said they're going to try to convince your mind to turn to the other way, the, self, the, the, uh, the flesh. The world system does not understand the spirit. And they're going to try to convince your mind that this is how you do it. And the world does a good job of convincing a lot of Christians. Paul, Paul is saying to Christians, this is not to unbelievers, this is to Christians. Don't let them put the focus here. Because this is human tradition. This is human tradition. It's of this world. But he says, I love this next verse. Look at verse 9. So, so Paul's saying, don't look this way. But he says in verse 9, for in him, Jesus. In the spirit. What happens in the spirit? It says in him the whole fullness of deity dwells bodily. So, so Paul's talking about Jesus now. He says in Jesus. The whole fullness the perfection of God in fact this word fullness it's the word complete it means lacking nothing how many of you believe that Jesus is perfect He's full of everything in God. He's, he, he, he lacks nothing. He has no lack. How many believe that? You should believe that because we just read it. And if you don't believe it, read it again. In the person of Jesus, he's complete Full, lacking nothing. This is something we can accept. Right? Jesus is perfect. This is something that we're taught in church. How did Jesus live perfect life? He still had a body. He still had temptations. He still had the cravings of the flesh. But his mind was 
იყო მამასთან დაკავშირებული. And because he was led by the Spirit. და იმიტომ რომ იგი სულით იყო წარმართული. The Bible says that his spirit was perfect. Библия гоობნება რომ მისი სული იყო სრულყოფილი. That's powerful. და ეს ძლიერია. The savior of the world your God was perfect. რო და სამყაროს გადამჩენელი შენიუფალი არის სრულყოფილი. Muhammad was imperfect. და მუჰამედი არ იყო სრულყოფილი. Buddha was imperfect. Buddha არ იყო სრულყოფილი. Other religious leaders were not perfect. სხვა რელიგიური ლიდერები არ იყვნენ სრულყოფილი. And this is not my opinion. და ეს არ არის ჩემი შეხედულება. This is what those religions even teach. ეს ის არი რასაც იმ რელიგიის მიმდევრები ასწავლიან. But Jesus is the only one who who was claimed to be perfect sinless. Ი ესო იყო ერთადერთი ვინც აცხადებდა რომ იგი იყო სრულყოფილი და უცოდველი. Because his mind was fully connected and understanding who he was. იმიტომ რომ მისი გონება სრული 100% იყო დაკავშირებული იმაზე რომ ითვა ით ითავისებდა ბანი მაგ как будет? ი ი იცოდა თუ ვინ იყო მისი დნკა. And we have to understand when God created us in his image. Da unda ukves modes rom gmertma tavisi mzgavsat chekhna. He created us in his image and his image is spirit. Da maisi gamosakholeba. Spirit. Misi sakhe aris suli. So God already had his spirit available. Anu gmerts tavis suli aks ხელმისაწვდომი. And then he created the body after. და შემდეგ შექმნა მან სხეული. Before you are physical you are spirit. სანამ შენ ფიზიკური იქნებოდი მანამდე შენ ხარ სული. And a lot of times we view life through this lens. და ძალიან ხშირად ჩვენ ცხოვრებას აი ამ გადმოსახედიდან ვუყურებთ. We see ourselves ჩვენ საკუთარ თავს through the flesh ხედავთ ხორციელიდან and when we see ourselves და როდესაც საკუთარ თავს ხედავთ through the system of the world ქვეყნიერების სისტემიდან so here's us აგერვართ ჩვენ and here's how usually we see ourselves და ეს არის ის როგორც ხშირად ძირითად შემთხვევებში ვუყურებთ საკუთარ თავს through our actions ჩვენი ქმედებების დამი through the physical ჩვენი ფიზიკური სდამი and so we say about ourselves და ჩვენ საკუთარ თავს მეუბნებით oh he's sinful ჰა ცოდვილია. He's no good. არ არი ღირსი. He's a liar and a cheater. მატყუ არ არი და გადამგდები. Not holy. არ აი იგი წმინდა. Because we view ourselves through this system. იმიტომ რომ ჩვენ საკუთარ თავს ამ სისტემის მიხედვით ვუყურებთ. But the thing is you're not flesh. მაგრამ საკითხი ისა რომ შენ არ ახარ ხორცი. You are created. You are created as spirit. შენ შექმნილი ხარ როგორც სული. And you live inside of a flesh. Da shen rogor tsuli khtsxovrob sxeulshi. The only way a spirit can be on earth is inside of an earth like a inside of a body. Erta derti gza romeltats sul sheuzlia iqos de damitsaze es aris sxeulshi tsxovros. In the same way if you want to go to the moon or to another planet. Igiwenaira tu shen ginda sva planetaze antvareze gaprindem. This body can't contain that atmosphere. ამ სხეულს იმ ატმოსფეროს გაძლია გატანა არ შეუძლია. So you have to put on a space suit. ამიტომ შენ გჭირდება ეს სპეციალური აღჭურვილობა. You when you put on a different atmosphere of a suit then you can go to a different atmosphere. I am სპეციალურ ჩაცმულობას რო ჩაიცმე მხოლოდ მაშინ შეგიძლია იქ წასვლა. So don't try to go to space with just your body make sure you have a suit. ამიტომ უბრალოდ ჩაცმული ნუ წახვალ ჩაიცვი აუცილებლად სკაფანდრი. Otherwise you'll explode. შენს ხო წინააღმდეგ შემთხვევაში აფეთქდები. And so in the same way. Amitom igiv exit. Like you have to have a space suit to go to space. Ra rogorts chen kchirdeba skafandri imistvis ro tsakhvide atmosferoshi. You have to have a earth suit or a body to be on earth. Shen kchirdeba sxeuli anu dedamitsi skafandri imistvis ro iqo dedamitsaze. But that doesn't mean that we see ourselves through This angle. Magram es sulat zar nishnevs imas ro chven sakutar tavs sored ai am mimartulebidan no ukhurebdet. It's the same thing as if I went to space and I I view myself only as an astronaut weird looking bubble. Aha. Es igivia rom tsavide atmosferoshi da shemdek sakutar tavs rogorts ragatsa bush shevkhedo. The suit is not who I am but what's inside the suit is who I am. Skafandris chatsmuloba ar aris is vints viknebi me me var is vints am skafand shignita. In the same way in the flesh. Da igiven ai rats kheulshi. The body is not who I am. Chemi skheuli ar aris is vints me var. I know I'm good looking but that's not who I am. Vitsi simpatiuri var magram es ar ari is vints me var. Kidding. Gekhumrebit. 
This is not who I am. Es arī īs viņs var mē. This is just the suit I'm in. Es arī ubralot tāni samosi romelis gamačnija. But for some zaze. reason we as human beings we think of ourselves through the suit. Magram ragatsa mizeze biz gamo chuen sakutar taus ai zust adam scheulis am chatsmu rats guak khortseli chatsmu lobis khridan vukhurebt. Jesus didn't see himself through the flesh. I eso tavis taus scheuli dan arukhurebda. Let me say that again. Jesus never looked at himself through the flesh. Because he knew that he was spirit. Jesus came into a body. And he knew. He's in a body but he is spirit. So he, he saw himself from a different angle Amitom sakutar tav su sva mkhridan ukhurebda You need to see yourself the way Jesus saw himself Shitkven kchirdeba sakutari tavi dainakhot ise rogorts Ieso khedavda tavis tavs Jesus saw himself through the spirit Ieso tavis tavs sulidan ukhurebda So Jesus because the Bible says he was perfect he saw himself as perfect Biblia ambos ro Ieso iqos rolqopili da igi tavis tavs rogorts rolqopil su khurebda When Jesus came to earth Da rodesat Ieso dedamits aze movida He left his divinity or his god powers in heaven Man tavisi zetsiuri zalaupleba datova zetsashi So yes he was 100% god Ki igi 100% itu khum upali iqo But he was also 100% man. Magra mamas tan ertat igi 100% it adamiani iqo. He left his god power in heaven. Man tavisi khtiuri zala datova zetsashi. So everything Jesus did on earth he did as a man not as a god. Da qvela peri rats iesom dedamits aze gaaketa gaaketa rogorts adamianma da ara rogorts gmertma. Through the spirit Manes gag et a sulis meshwebit. The Holy Spirit. Sulits min dis meshwebit. The same Holy Spirit you have. Da igive sulits min da gaut tkwen. So Jesus saw himself through the spirit. Iesom tavis ti ieso tavis tav sulidan ukhurebda. And that's why he lived perfect and full and complete. Da amito mani tsxovra srulqopili da sruli tsxovreba. And that's why his body Da amito mats misi sxeuli was perfect and full and complete. Iqo sruli da srulqopili. His body lacked nothing. Da ara pris ukmarisoba ar konda. Jesus didn't get sick. Ieso ava da ar gamkhdara. He didn't have cancer. Da sim si He didn't have leprosy. Mas ar konda mketri. He didn't live with the flesh because he lived through the spirit. Mas ar utsxovria khortsiela dimito ro sulshi tsxovrobda. And when we feed the spirit, the body has to align itself. Da rodesat chven kvebavt suls sxeuli unda mies sheesadagos. I think you now you're ready for the next verse. Mgoni ekhla khart mzadro shemdeg mokhze gadavidet. Go back to second uh, go back to Colossians. Modit daubrundet Colosselta mimart tserils. Chapter 2. Meore tavi. Verse 9 we see how Jesus saw himself. Mesxred mukhshi chven davinakhet tu rogor ukhurebda Ieso sakutar tavs. Verse 9 we see he was full, complete, perfect, no lack. Chven khedavt ro igi iqo mas mashi iqo sisavse da arapri sachir ukmarisoba ar konda. If you want we can stop here. But this next part is going to blow your mind. Magram shem de ginat eli wapshe goneba sagi petkaut. You want to stop? Ginat gaucherdet. Okay, two people want to continue, so I'll continue. Aha, okay. Ors ginat mashin gawakzelat. Mkhola dorson da khora gawakzelat. Look at verse ten. Modi aba miat hemukshekhede. You get open your Bible, please. You have to underline and circle it. Tchot kadeshal tkeni Biblia bidam amem goni sachiro iknevar mukhazot egnati. He says, and you have been. That Queen Sauseni Hart Marshi. I don't think you understand this. Goni Bolom de Verga I get. In verse 9, we see Jesus was filled. Meat Metzre Murshiv Nachet Ro Ieso Shari Sisause. He was full. Ro Igi was Sruli Opil, Sruli. Perfect. Lacking nothing. Ro Ara Pris Ukmariso Bar Konda. And because we're Christians, we agree. We're like, yeah, that's Jesus. And Darachas Christian Abiwam Dog Ieso Tia Ieso. But look at verse 10. Aba mia te mukhshekhede. This is the best drug in the world right here. It's it es ari saoketeso narkotik im soplioshi. When I get high on this, I don't need nothing else. Rodesa zamitsi chaukaiftebi sva agaraferi mchirdeba. When I got the Bible, I don't need to get drunk. I don't need to get drugs. Rodesa bibliashi ugrmaudebi arts narkotiki arts sasmeli aferi amchirdeba. This makes me happy. Ito ra ies mabedeni erebs me. Makes 
so happy. Da ist Talian mal bitte nie You have been filled in Jesus. Queen Sausen ich hart mal schi Jesu schi. You have been filled in Jesus. Queen Sausen ich hart Jesu schi. The same fullness Jesus has. Ig Jesu Sausen hat Jesu sagt. You are also filled with the same fullness. Queen sie given ein rat hart Sausen i. Some of you are thinking, preacher, why are you yelling? Because my whole life I never understood this. I knew I have the Spirit of God. But I always thought I have problems and flaws. Because I viewed myself from this position. But I sin. But I get sick. But I have problems. So that means I'm not perfect. Thank God Jesus didn't view himself this way. We have the same spirit Jesus had. And so when I had these three guys standing here, the body, the soul, and the spirit, This spirit is the same spirit Jesus had. And God says that you're full of his spirit which is perfect. That's why God says Hold on a second. Let me rewind. God sees you from this angle. That's why in the Bible it says you are the righteousness of Christ. But we never understood why. I'm, but I sin. I make problems. God calls you righteous. Why do you call yourself a sinner? You need to change your perspective. Stop looking at yourself from the flesh. And start seeing yourself from the spirit. God says you're righteous. Not because you Not because you do righteous acts, but because of the spirit that he sees you through. When you know who you are, then you begin to function like who you are. If you think, oh, I'm just a flesh. I'm in the sinful world. So that's why I struggle. That's why That's why I have pain. That's why I sin. Because you think that way, that's why you act that way. Let me say that again. Because you think this way, you act this way. But when you begin to understand how a God says about you, you have the Spirit of God. You have the same Spirit Jesus had. The difference, the difference is Jesus viewed himself from here. And Jesus says, I am perfect. I am righteous. And therefore his body did what he believed. If you think, oh, I just get sick all the time. If you think, oh, I just get sick. When the springtime comes, the allergies come, and I start sneezing. If you keep thinking this way, every year you're going to keep getting sick. Because you think, oh, this is normal. This is what my life goes through. You're seeing yourself through the wrong perspective. If you want the power, the the pouring out of the Holy Spirit, you have to understand the Holy Spirit. And so the Bible says that you have the same potential Jesus had. 
Jesus says it's good that I go to heaven. Because if I don't go to heaven, you can't have that spirit. You have to always chase me. He says I'm only one being. I, I can't have everybody chasing me around everywhere I go. He's saying, trust me, Peter, James, John, trust me. It's good that I go. Because God is going to send you perfect, complete, lacking nothing spirit. And now you have the potential like it says in Colossians, to live and walk in this spirit. When I got this revelation, I preached differently. I live, I live differently. Before, this is how I used to preach. You need to stop sinning. You're in sin. You need to turn to God. You're going to go to hell. Because that's what I thought. Because I viewed from this perspective. You are, um, you are full of lust. You're addicted to pornography. You're a terrible husband. You need to change. And I realized that there, there's no difference between me preaching this way and motivational speaking. There's no difference. Because I'm teaching you how to focus on changing this. And God gave me a revelation. Stop trying to change this. This will always want the things of the world. You're doing the same thing as a motivational preacher and you're just inspiring people. And God arrested me. He said, stop it! That's not my teaching. Stop preaching this way. Start focusing on who you are. So I don't say anymore, you're not pure. You know what I say now? You are holy. You are righteous. You are pure. Oh, but I sinned. Oh, magramejo chef sode. But I looked at pornography. Me pornografia usugura. But I slept with that girl. I'm gogostan vitzaki. Oh, but I was drunk. Magram roda utweri. I'm not talking about your flesh. Me shen scheus de hort ze arula paragop. I'm talking about you. Me vla paragop. Shen ze. You are spirit. Shen sulicha. And you have the complete fullness of Christ. Da shen gag ieso Christ es sisause. So I stop saying. Amit om sheu tsute. You need to. Uh, turn away from darkness into light. I said, you have Jesus? You are perfect. You are light. You are light. And when I think this way, I don't have to preach. Stop drinking, stop smoking, stop sleeping around. Because my flesh is dead. And I know who I am. This works really well in our marriage with my wife. We always tell each other who we are. If I get frustrated, oh, come on. I, I told my wife to tell me who I am. Because sometimes I forget who I am. But my mom told me that I'm angry. My mom told me I'm angry. Aha. My friends told me I'm a thief. 
My teacher told me I'm stupid. And so I start identifying myself and seeing myself through this position. I start living based on my works. But then I realized. And I told my wife, please help me. Because sometimes I forgot who I am. So when I get frustrated, ah! My wife looks at me. Mish, that's not who you are. You don't get angry. And it sometimes makes me more mad. But I know she's right. That's not who I am. So I stopped thinking about myself as angry. As sinful. As a problem. As sick. I don't think myself this way anymore. I see myself the way God sees me. And God says, Mish, you are my righteousness. You are complete. You have no lack. Here's the thing. When we begin to view life this way, then our body has to submit. Has no choice. You need people around you who are going to tell you next time you look at pornography. That's not who you are. That's not who you are. You're pure. You're holy. And then you realize. Oh yeah, that's right. You know the word repent? In English, it's repent. Two parts, re and pent. English is mo nanieba. Mo nanieba? No, I just divided it. There's nothing like that. Repent, is, uh, basically... It has two different meanings. The English sur ena she sit ko amonaniye ba repents ag ori sukan shobuli nishnaloba. Re means go back to. Re na no nishnaos ukan dau brunde. Re go back to. Ano kada akui ukan ra ukan dau brunde. And this word pent. The sit ko pent means the highest level. Nishnaos umagles dones. This is where we get the word penthouse from. Have you ever seen a penthouse on the basement? No. It's called penthouse because it's always the highest level. Before before I got a revelation of Jesus, of who I am in Christ, and I, I tell my wife to help me remind me. I used to think repentance looked like this. Oh God! Oh, I'm so bad. I said it's so dear. I'm so sinful. I said it's so dear. I'm so terrible. And you were like in the Old Testament, they ripped their clothes. And they cover themselves with ash. And they mourn and weep. And it's an action. So before I used to think, I have to have an action of repenting. God help! I'm so weak. That's why I kept on sinning. Because I told myself I'm weak. I told myself I'm sinful. I told myself. I'm addicted to pornography. I told myself all these things that were not true. And so that's what I thought repentance was. That's not repentance. That's called stupidity. 
That means nothing to God. All you're doing is convincing yourself how bad you are and you're crying and feel bad for yourself. That's not repentance. Repentance is going back to the penthouse. Repentance means change the way you think. So when my wife tells me, Mish, that's not who you are, I say, you're right. That's repentance. Repentance is changing the way I think about myself. Going back to the penthouse. I've been to some amazing cities around the world. And I've had a chance to be in the top of some of the coolest buildings in the world. I don't know about you, but I love the penthouse. You know what I mean? Mamuka is amazing. He got me a hotel on the top floor. He got me a hotel on the top floor. On the top. On the top. Yeah, so I'm on top, I'm on top of the central station, the hotel at the very top level. And I got a cool view of the city. I love being on top. Because I know that's where I belong. Because I'm, I'm a son of the king, I belong on top. A lot of Christians have a poverty mentality. Oh, I have to be humble. Oh, I have to be, I have to be in the basement with the rats. Why do we think this way? And can you imagine Think of the most beautiful place in the world for you. And imagine a high, high building. And imagine that somebody buys the penthouse and you now own it. You own it? No, yeah. Imagine, you imagine. That they buy it. That somebody buys for you the penthouse for you. And now you own this penthouse on the top of the most beautiful place that you can imagine. And it's beautiful. The best furniture. The, the best art. You have a butler. What do you have? A maid. What? A maid. Like what? a servant. Like that comes ah, in. Ah, the shenk has you. And they and they bring you food. And the such melebs cart me in. Can you imagine this? She gets less at my gino. That would be nice, huh? Okay, you can never dara. Okay, now come back to reality. What the hell real was that over on that? So can you imagine a person who owns a penthouse? But they go down and live in the basement on the, on the street. And someone comes to them. Isn't that your house? That's yours, right? Oh yeah, I forgot. Why am I living in the basement? So we get in the elevator. And you push the PH, penthouse. Boop. 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 And your elevator goes all the way up. This is the best picture of repentance. When you remember where you belong. You remember who you are. And you begin to view yourself from the spirit. When you become a child of God. Jesus said his last words on the cross. Every other religion, every other religion, 
like Buddha and Muhammad they left rules that you need to do. Buddha da Muhammad ma dat oves tsesebi tu rogor na itsxaur rogor na aketo. I study these religions. They're interesting for me to study. Chemti sa interesso iqo da me shevisavle es religiebi. And every religious leader before he was dying said do this. Da man to achieve this. Da man am sana mes religiuri liderebi garda itslebodnen mat datseres da tkues ai es gaakete imisatvis ro ai amas miagtsio. But Jesus Magram Iesom had his arms open like this on the cross. And he said, it is finished. It's done. There's nothing you need to achieve. He said in the Aramaic, he said, tetelestai. It's gone. It's done. You would now have a perfect spirit. You don't need to try to work, 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 work. All you need to do is change your thinking. Because the same fullness that's in Jesus, that same fullness and completeness is in you. This is so good. Dan Magaria. I want to read I want to read uh, first John. Modit piroeli Ioannes sakharebaze tsedilze gadavidat. You've never read this before, I promise you. Dartsunebuli var akamde ar tsa gikitkhiat. Only mamuka because he's spiritual. Marto mamuka si mito ro is aris sulieri danarchenebs ara. You've never seen this verse, I promise you. Dartsunebuli var akamde es mukhli ar ginakhiat. Even if you read through the whole Bible, you you missed it. Mteli ba Bibliats rom kondes tsa mok tsa kitkhuli dartsunebuli var ro gamotova. Please open your Bible. You have to highlight it, write it down. You have to see this. Gadeshalet Biblia dart minda dartsunebuli var ro mogindebat amisi shemokhazva. Not just on the screen, but I want you to see it in your own phone in your own Bible, please. Ara ubralot ekranze aramet minda ro tkven es tkven tkvens Bibliebshits monishno. First John chapter four. Pirueli Iwanes. Chapter four. Meotchetawi. And we're going to read verse. Just a second. Oh, I cried when I say. First John chapter four is the end of the Bible. Very end. No, it's not the end. That's why I'm confused. First John chapter four. Do you have it on the screen? Iyo Pirueli Iwanes Pirueli Tseri Lika Dashalet. First John, chapter four. Meotchetawi. And Starting in verse seven, it talks about the love of God. Do you know that everything is rooted in the love of God? He gave you his perfect spirit because he loves you. He gave his life because he loves you. And so all the disciples now are dead except for John. And in his old age, the only one who lived in old age. And I can imagine his big beard. So much wisdom. That's why I love reading the book of John. Uh, the, sorry, the, uh, the epistle of John. Iwanes eri lebis kitwa. First, second, third John. It's amazing. Iroeli beore da besa bet eri lebi ara shole brilia. The love, the love, the love, the love. Lab ara kop siqaruze, siqaruze da siqaruze. And right in the middle of this, you have to see this. Da zust at amis shua shua gulshi. Now maybe maybe we should stop here. Shades leba kunda gaucherdet. Gaucherdet. One more verse. One more verse. Okay. Gawak zelot erti mukhli. Chapter four. Meot chetawi. Verse seventeen. Metrid met e mukhli. Look at this. It says, "By this love perfected with us, so we may have confidence on the day of judgment." The last part says, "Because he is, so are we in this world." Does it say in the Georgian, "Because he is"? Yeah. I kartušit ambos rad gan rogorts i saris anu i eso. So are we? I gue na irat vart chuen i setebi. Where? The sada varto. Huh? In this world. And kuch niere vazel. Why do a lot of Christians say? Darat omaris rom rawali Christiani ambos. Oh, I'm sick in this world. 
I don't have any money in this world. But when I get to heaven, no more sickness, no more pain, no more problems. My Bible says, in English, also in Georgian, also in the original, it says, just like Jesus is, so I am, not in heaven, on this world. I don't know if you understand what this means. Because when I saw this verse, I jumped up and I started shouting. Because I got a revelation. I don't have to wait for some time in the future. The fullness of Jesus is in me. This is not my opinion. I know, it, I know it feels too good to be true. That's why this is better than drugs and alcohol. Sometimes people drink too much because they want to forget about their problems. They smoke marijuana because they want to relax. I already have that in Christ. I have everything I need in Christ. All that's in Jesus is in you. This is amazing. When you believe this in your mind, you will never, you will never accept sickness again. You will never accept disease. Again. You will never accept pain again. Because it's illegal. So why do you let your problem live in your body without even paying rent for free? Uh-huh. For free. Jesus already gave you the penthouse. Why do you have a dead dog who's rotting in your room? Why are you Why are you allowing this? <laughs> Why are you allowing this to ruin the atmosphere of who you are? When we understand who we are, we never live the same again. Is somebody getting a revelation here tonight? Is somebody getting a revelation in their spirit tonight? I shared this story on Tuesday. We have a woman, um, her son is studying in our Bible school in our church. And she was diagnosed with stage 2 cancer. Woman. And the doctor said we need to attack the cancer right away. But the chemotherapy we need to give you eventually actually will kill you. She began to be afraid. Oh no. You know, when there's fear, there cannot be faith. We began to talk to her and pray with her. And I showed her this verse. 1 John 4:17. I said, did you know? That everything that's in Jesus is in you? Not in heaven, but on earth. She said, oh, really? 
I thought it was if it's his will then maybe I might get healed. A me fikrobdi, a tu misi neba sheizleba ganvikurna. I said no, that's not what the Bible teaches. A ra me otkhari su sva rames gvasstavlis Biblia. Everybody in the Bible who wanted healing and came to Jesus was healed 100%. Khvela vises gankurneba undoda da Yesustan mivida mimarta khvela miigo gankurneba. The only the only people that didn't get healed. Erta ma is adamianebi romsats ar miugiat gankurneba. It's because they were living in the flesh. Es iqo adamianebi romles tkhelshi tsxhorobden And they said, "I don't believe you." Da ambobnen ar mcera. You can't do it. Shin shegizlia gaaketa. Jesus went to his hometown. The Bible says that he could only do a few small miracles. Biblia goebneba ro tav Ieso tavis pirat khalakshi mivida da sul ramodenime sastsavlis gaaketeba shezlo. Because you cannot have fear and doubt and faith at the same time. Imit ro sheudzlebelia ro shen shishi da rtsmena ertat kondes. So this woman, da amitom am khalma, she got a revelation of Jesus. Mi ro Ieso's gamotsadeba. That Jesus said it is finished. Romi esom tkva ro axsruldao. All sin. Khvela tsodwa. All sickness. Khvela avatqopoba. You now have power over them. Akhla shen matze zalaupleba gagachnia. And she realized, wow! Da am kalma gaias redat kwa wow. By the way, she was a pastor, a pastor's wife. Da mina gitrat ro es kali iqom pastoris tsoli. She's been preaching the Bible but didn't realize what Jesus did for her. Igi titon kadageb da Biblias da bolom de arkonda gaazrebul Yesom ra gaaketa mistis. So she began to pray. Da man daitsqo lotswa. She says, my body has cancer. Da man igi ambobda chem sxeuls simsimne aks. But she said, "My spirit is perfect." Da ambob da magram chemi soli aris rul kopili. She said, "My spirit has no cancer." Chen souls arak sim simne. She changed her thinking. Da man shet sola tau isi pikrebi azrone ba. She said, "My body has cancer, but my faith has no cancer." Ambob da chen souls ak sim simne magram chen sert semena sim simne arak. Within two weeks. Da or kuirashi. She went back to the doctor. Da brunda ekim tan. And the doctor said, "There's no cancer in your body." Take him out, Hashem. Schel, she seems to be nara. If you keep seeing yourself from this angle, you're always going to live a low life. Tu shen gagzeleb sakutar tauze qurebas ayam khrida qolot vizdat semul tshore biti tshore. You can't walk in His promises. If you see yourself from the flesh. Shen verivli Christ es da pirebeb shi tu shen sakutar tal sxeuli da nu qureb. But when you begin to understand who you are in Christ. Magram rodesats daitsqeb gatavisebas imisa tu vikhar shen Christ es shi qola peri sheitsleba. And even if I get sick. Da tunda zavad gavkhde. I tell my body. Me chem sxeuls veobnebi. Body? Sxeula? This is illegal. Es ara legaluria. I'm sorry. Bodishi. But you can't live in this penthouse. Magram shen, I am penthouse shi veri tshore. And I see who I am. I am healed. I am righteous. I am pure. I am holy. Da chem tavs vukureb da ukheda uruvar gankurne buli uruvar simartle uruvar tsminda da gantsmendili. I don't receive that anymore. Me amas uke agar ukhebulob. And so I don't pray for healing anymore. Da gankurne baz agar vlo tsulob. God please heal me, please heal me, please heal me. Me tok 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 gankurne tok. Jesus already healed you. Iesom uk gankurna. On the cross he said, I have finished it. Juar zeman tkwa morcha axsrul da shevasruleo. So stop begging for your healing. Amitom morchid khvetsnas tkveni gankurnebisa. Now when I pray for healing, Ахла родесац ганкурнебазе влоцулот. I don't say God please if it's your will. Me ar va mob gme ertot tu sheni neba. I laugh at the pain. Laugh. Laugh. Me davtsini avatqopobas tkivils. I said are you kidding me? Da mebne masxarat migde. Nope. Not in my life. Ara chem tsxore bashi. Sin? Tsodwa? Nope. Aa. Not in my life. Ara chem tsxore bashi. Devil? Eshmak? Nope. Ara. Not in my life. Ara chem tsxore bashi. And so I tell my body what it needs to become because of what my spirit is. Da chem tsxeus veobnebi amas imit oro rats ari chemi suli. So if my brother has some kind of a sickness in his body, I don't say God, please, 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 please. Me arvam bab khmer tok tkhol 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 Because I'm begging for something he already gave me. Imit oro ve modarebi imaze rats ukve momtsa. So I repent. I go back to my penthouse. Me vbrunde bi chens penthouse chi. 
I go back, I change my thinking. And I say, God, I thank you that in the spirit I am perfect. God, I thank you that you've already paid the price for this. So body, I'm not asking you. I'm telling you. Be healed in Jesus' name! Bam! Bam. It's over. That's ruled out. And then the body has to submit. The body has to submit. Sometimes it's not instantaneously. Sometimes it's the next day. I don't know why sometimes that is like that. But I know that when I speak, Mamuka talked about prophecy earlier today. Get the CD, listen to it, it's good. When you speak, the physical has to change. When you speak, life, from your spirit, your body, your body has to change. When I pray, I am convinced 100% that something is already happening. That's faith. Faith isn't, oh, please, 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 please. That's not faith. And if that's what you think is faith, repent and change your mind. I want to show you one, to show you one more example. I wish I had time to preach this a little bit more. When Jesus was baptized, the father spoke to him. This is my dearly beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. And then the, and then the Holy Spirit came on him in the dove. Not a rat, a dove. No, I said the, um, it's okay. it's another okay. bird. Swan, yeah. Also, no, not a swan, a dove. <laughs> dove. I, I'm so glad that God used the dove. <laughs> you know why? <laughs> First of all, a dove obviously has two wings. <laughs> Have you ever seen a, a dove flying with one wing? <laughs> it can't fly. It's, it's impossible to fly with one wing. Have you ever seen an airplane with one wing? If you have, don't get on. Don't get on. But the dove, two wings. What's interesting about the dove, that's powerful. Each wing has nine main feathers. Has nine wings on each, nine feathers on each wing. Main feathers. And all the little feathers come off of it. You know what's interesting about nine? The Bible talks about nine gifts of the Spirit. Remember that? Nine gifts. What are the nine gifts? Let's talk about it. First is the, the three power gifts. Faith, healing, and miracles. Then it's the spoken gifts. It's tongues, interpretation of tongues, and prophecy. And then there's the, uh, the, the prophetic gifts. Words of knowledge, words of wisdom, and distinguishing spirits. There's nine gifts the Bible talks about. You know what else the Bible talks about? Is there is 
the nine fruit of the Spirit. You know what's amazing about this picture? It's a picture of a dove. The fruit of the Spirit is the character of God. And the gifts of the Spirit is the action of God. The character and the actions. Each person needs to walk in both. The character of God and the actions of God. The Bible says that when you're baptized, the word baptized, it means full immersion, completely underwater. Not just a little bit. Not just a little sprinkle. That's not baptism. That's religion. But this word baptism is to go all the way under. When you're all the way, when the Spirit is all over you, the fullness you have the actions and you have the character. Now, the fruit of the Spirit it's not the fruits, it's the fruit, singular, not plural. Sometimes I know preachers say it's the fruits of the Spirit. The Bible says it's not plodi ducha, it's plod ducha. It's not. Come on. One. That means when you have this full spirit, you have all nine reflections. You know, this last summer I was teaching on the, of the fruit of the spirit. And as I've been researching, I saw something I've never seen before. God showed me something amazing. So I would study the different, the, the, the different aspects of the fruit. And I thought I have to work really hard and get love. I have to work really hard and get love. And I thought I work really hard and get joy. Work really hard to get peace. Patience. Kindness. Goodness. Goodness. Faithfulness. Self control. control. nine. And I, and God said, Mish. Those are not my fruit. Those are your fruit. Because if you can. Work hard to get to this level, it's your fruit. Like, if I have to work hard to get love, or let's talk about the last one, the ninth one, self-control. Before, I used to think self-control is when I'm in control. I gotta be in control. I gotta be in control of my body. I control of my mind. control of my actions. I gotta be in control, 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 control. Control, 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 control. And God spoke to me. He said, Mish, that's not the fruit of the spirit. That's the fruit of you. And that's the fruit of the soul. That's your character. And we need to work on our character. But God says, I have a different character. Spirit character. This is something I've already given to you. You have access to perfect love, perfect joy, perfect peace. And I said, whoa! Hold on a second, God. 
Your love, your joy, your peace. Sheni sikharuli, sheni sikharuli, sheni simshvide. I don't have to earn it. Arunda davim sakhuro. He said yes. Mitkhraki. That's why it's called the gift of the spirit, not the gift of mish. Amitom kuya masuli snaqopi da ara mishas naqopi. It's not the gift you earn, it's a gift, it's free, it's given. Ar aris na naqopi anu sachukari inglisurat kide vitargmneba, romelsat shen ki avna daim sakhuro ubralot kchuknian. Because my whole life I have to work, I have to work, I have to work hard, I have to work hard. Im toteli chem tsxoreba, me golmodginet, golmodginet, uda gavaketo vimushao. God says relax. Na gmert ma mitkha modundi. He says it's finished. I have it all. Here you go. And I realized what self-control is. Self-control is not when I'm in control. Self-control is when I give up my right to control. Self-control is when I give up my right to control. Self-control is when I give up my right to control. Self-control is when I give up my right to control. Never hold anything in your hand like this. But live like this. Because imagine. Do you have? What? Okay, hold this. Uh huh. Imagine you're trying to control this. And God is saying, I want to control this. No, I want to control. I want to control. I want to control. We do this with our family. With our marriages. With our children. With our businesses. And we think we know the best. And God says. I have something better. But when you're in control, God can't give you something better. But when you give up your right to control, and He gives you brand new. He gives you brand new. God loves you. Thank you. It's yours. Take it. So the only way is you have to receive and say, God, you're in control. And when you, when, you when you live in the Spirit, you realize, God, you've already done it all. I just have to change my thinking. Repent. And realize that he has the fruit. You know, in, um, in John chapter 15, this is the last thing I'm done. I, the keyboard. No, uh, no. The keyboard. And we're done. In, in John chapter 15, Jesus says, I am the vine. You are the branches. Yeah. I'm the vine. Let me be the vine and you be the branches. Don't try to be the vine because I'm much better at being the vine than you are. And I got a revelation. Do you know what's interesting about the branches? Branches don't produce fruit. Branches have no life in them. The life comes from the vine and goes through the branches. The only reason there's branches is to hold the fruit. You're the branches. Stop trying to produce your own fruit. Change your mind. You are the fullness of Christ. And the more you renew your mind, the more you have to you stop producing your own love. And you just hold 
God's love. Da shen ubralo chaich ide bkhmertis siqvaros. Shen ara tsarmoeb naqobs. Stop trying to be the vine. Shets qite vazit vazat qopna. You just hold what Jesus has given you. Shen ubralo daikawe is rats yesom shen ukve moktsa. So today the goal of this message. Amitom dges am gzamnilis mizani is for you to begin to renew your mind. Aris tkven tis ro tkven daitsqo tkveni gonebis ganakhleba. It's a process. The romelits ari process. It's a process. It's a process. It's a very process. And the more you renew your mind. Da rats upro metad ganakhle tkven gonebas. The easier it gets. Upro advili khteba. Because you have trained yourself. Imito ro tkven sakutar tavi ukve avarjishet. See yourself from the flesh. Ro daina kho shen tavi sheuli da. To do everything, do everything, do everything. Tu shen tavi tak eto ak eto but jesus says magram yesu am dros geubneba it's done axrulda you have the fullness of jesus in you yesu sisavs shen shigak and now you can manifest perfection da ak shen shegizlia srulqopilebis gamokhatwa so when your body shows you something different am to rodesa sheni sxeuli ragatsa sxwas gachvenebs you say ah ah shen unda utra ah ah no 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 vai ese not in my life Ara chem tsxovrebashi. Not in my family. Ara chem ojakhshi. Not in my finances. Ara chem finansebshi. Not in my career. Ara chem skariariashi. No! Ara! Because I have Jesus. Imit oro me mqavs Ieso. And then it's easy to live like this. Da shemdeg advilia ase tsxovreba. Stop trying to change the fruit and start changing the root. Oh, it's hard to trust my No, no. Stop that. trying to change the fruit and start changing the root. Shetsqite naqopebis shetsula daitsqe pesuebis tsulileba. A lot of preachers, especially young preachers, so sad to me. Zalian bevri mokadage gansakutrebulad akhalgazda chemtvis guldasa tsqetia. I preach youth conferences all over the world. Dedamitis garshemo akhalgazda ta kon Conferences of Sul Kadage. Young preachers come on the stage. The Achalgas de Mokadage be Gamodian. So excited. I stick to one bullet Biarian. And they say, "Don't do this. Don't do this. Live like this. Live like this." Damo be nasir gag. It was nasir gag. It was nasir itzhore. It was nasir itzhore. And everything they're saying is they're talking about the fruit. Da ola perasat isak ete isinyak ete ben saubro ben nakopse. But listen to me. Magre mumis minet. If you have an apple tree. Tu shen vashlis regag. Or you guys have grapes here. You guys, if you have a grape tree. Magalita chengak vazi. And if you pull all the grapes off. Da tu mtlianat urzen sudak ripau. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. Pull all of the grapes off. Sum tel nakopevs dak ripau da etu esar gak etu esar 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 esar. And you look from the outside. Da gare da chekede. You think yes, that's holy. Da ambob ay eklari srul kapili da tsminda. Now all this tree will do pears. Pear, pear, rusha. The ati es che mois ham sam schals. So you pull all the grapes off. Anum teli kurzeni moashore. And you think yes, now it's going to be pear. Tambob a ati achlam schals mois hams. What's going to happen next season? Momo al season zera mochteba. Grapes. Isel kurzeni. A lot of preachers. Da mrawa li mokadage. They pull all the grapes off and they want pears. Da isi ni vazi dan tel kurzen smo ashore ben da unda truats im schali mo ischas. Breaks my heart. Da guls mit echause. Because we now we have a young generation that's only trying to do 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 do. Imit oro achla kraus achal gas da tau ba romel stilobs hak etos hak etos hak etos. But they still see themselves from this perspective. Da sam tu charo tak utar tau zjerk ideu ayam khort sitz gad mosachedi da nukure. I have to do more. Me meti unda gawak eto. I have to do more. Meti meti unda gawak eto. I have to pray harder. Uto peta tu gulba gine tilo tso. Upro meti unda vima rulo. I have to, I have to, I have to. Ay unda unda unda. And I'm looking at Christian youth. Da vukureb akhal gaz da Christianeps. And I'm saying relax. Da veub nebi modundi. You're gonna go crazy. Kada ire viese. Because you can't focus on the fruit. Imit oro shenak op ze verik nebi koncentri rebuli. You have to change the root. Sanam shen pesar shetsuli. I've never seen a grape tree with, uh, uh, with all the grapes pulled off. Jer armi nakh ya vazi romsa tsul mteli khurzeni moashores. And then someone comes with a pear. Da mere vigatsa modis mskhlit. And they tape it on the and they tape it on the tree. Kaitsi ase skochit miaba miabas. Okay, now it's a pear tree. Da abos atsi mskhlis khea. But that's what a lot of Christians are doing. Magro sam tsu after a season, you're gonna have grapes again. 
After a season, you're going to have the same problems. And you keep pulling it off and you're going to have the same problems again and again and again and again. It's easy for me to come on the stage. Don't be an alcoholic. Don't be an alcoholic. Don't take drugs. Don't sleep around before marriage. That's easy. That doesn't change anything. But when I come, and I sit down with you, and I say, hey, listen, what, let's talk about what's going on. And I begin to instill the Bible inside of you. And I begin to show you who you are. What's happening? You're getting a new root system. It takes time. It's not easy. Fruit takes time. And after a process, a process then all of a sudden it's easy. Because now you're a grape, now you're a pear tree. And you produce pears. And now you're holy. And you produce holiness. Righteousness. Purity. Healthy. Whole. Uh, Healed. Uh, you now produce of this fruit. I'm I'm preaching way too long today. I'm so sorry. But I just needed to get this out. Can we stand to our feet?